Here we are live. We are recording right now from Vanishing Gate Studios. And let's see how things go from here. What a freaking night. Ugh. No, 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 no. You move. No, no. Stop. Facebook tips. Stop. Why does it keep doing it? I it won't let you go live without the um, description, the title the description. Oh, yeah. Ghosts! I wish I could just say it that way. Like, I wish I would just say what I said. <laughs> we talk ghosts. <laughs> I had to make it dumb enough for Facebook to figure it out. <laughs> so irritating I have to do that. What a pain in all of the ass. We are live now. Apparently. Okay. Do the intro again, lady. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's the intro? Um... Yeah, you should have drank. <laughs> Pretty Cat here with Jay, my or co-host, Manson Gates. Um, yeah, you. I can't. Go ahead. I like how you subjugate <laughs> me to the co-host. That's cute. You want some whiskey in that? Because no. we have some still. <laughs> it's not like you're going anywhere. Anyway, welcome to Vanishing Gates. I'm Jay. This is obviously Katie Cat. We are here to talk to you guys about whatever fucking pops in our head because neither of us planned anything for the night and Jack won't be available until after he has some stuff sorted out but he will be back he's looking forward to hanging out with you guys and showing off his wiener <laughs> none of you will see it because there's not a microscope hooked to this camera there's not a microphone microscope oh microscope I was trying to make Katie Cat spit take did not work out so well <laughs> I hope everyone had a fantastic Thanksgiving Guys, we're having issues with our chat, so I'm not sure why we can't see our chat until afterwards. I know I'm ge I'm gesticulating a lot. I would apologize, but I've always been that way, so I won't. But uh, we'll try to get back to it. If you guys have stories of the strange, the unexplained, the odd, um, any kind of erotic fan fiction about Jack and like John Cena or The Rock or Vin Diesel, if been around for a while, or Paco. Uh, send them to vanishinggates at gmail.com. Be lured in description so I can read it out loud. Uh, just keep in mind, I'll have to keep it semi PG fucking 13. Semi. When I said it that way, it came out really wrong. <laughs> so, Thanksgiving was has passed. Thank, mm -hmm. thank God that Thanksgiving has passed. Thank that Thanksgiving is dead and gone and for the, the year. The <laughs> season of miracles has, has ended. With Halloween. Sad okay. face. Uh, now we go into Christmas. So we will probably be doing some Christmas themed episodes. Again, we'll, we'll be back. We're starting a little later than we normally would. We're going to be doing about 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. 8 p.m., not a.m. And uh, next time, Katie will just be wearing tassels. <laughs> So will Jack, if he's here. Oh, that would be... You guys can have a boob juggle contest. <laughs> you guys can have a boob juggle contest. God. Can you do that? No. I'm not doing that. Trying to bring all the boys to the yard with the milkshake? That's a song, right? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Yeah. <laughs> that is a song. So, much like... All of the girls that I met in high school and up until I got married, uh, I got ghosted. So we're going to talk about ghosts this episode. <laughs> Aww. I know. Woe is me. Aww. I need a button that goes wah, wah, wah. wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so the idea comes from my wife here thinking my house is... We should talk about my house. She doesn't think that. Katie Cat does think that my house is haunted. We've talked about this before on the show, but let's go into vivid detail, shall we? Okay. What? Why I think it's haunted? Tell your story. 
Okay, so I was staying the night over here one time, and I was sleeping on the couch. I don't think I was that drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Every honest ghost story starts with, I don't think I was that drunk. <laughs> it's how you know it's an I absolutely true paranormal I don't remember. Maybe there was a reason I was staying over there, though. So. Because you were fucked up after we drank at the bar, yeah. and we won a bunch of games of pool, and you were too drunk to go home. I don't remember that <laughs> at all. Aside from? Aside from this story. I was sleeping on the couch, and I had sleep paralysis, if anybody knows what that is. It's where you are dreaming, but you're not really... And you, like, know you're dreaming, but you can't wake yourself up or, like, make any noise. Mm -hmm. And usually what comes with sleep paralysis is some kind of figure or, like, thing, person, whatever it is. And so in this dream, I was sleeping on the couch. And I couldn't move. And all of a sudden, this shadowy figure just comes right up to me into my face literally into my face it was really scary <laughs> so a shadowy figure came on your face no came up into my face <laughs> not making this any easier for me here <laughs> got close to my face and i couldn't move i couldn't make a noise i was like paralyzed basically sleep paralysis obviously um and then I remember waking up and being like, what the hell was that? It scared me. My heart was racing. I was like breathing heavily. So. Did I talk about the thing I almost punched the other night on the show last? No, because it just happened. Oh, so it just happened. So my house is not haunted. People are crazy. Uh, Jack thinks my house is haunted. So you're not the only one. A lot of people Me do. and him both do. <laughs> Quite a, quite a few people do. And the reason people think that is because of a tragedy that happened in my house uh, before I lived here, obviously. But, um, which I just purchased this place, so I'm super excited. If they would have put Haunted on the sign, I would have bought it so much faster. But, what are you doing? I was just making sure we were seeing all the comments, because last time we didn't see them. Well, it's just probably because of the lag. Uh oh from my phone's internet because I don't have the hardwired internet yet. Look that fire. So anyhow. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm laying in bed. Me and the wife are laying down <laughs> sleeping. And I have this dream about a bunch of different things. And the dream is someone's trying to come through the window. And it if anyone knows me here that watches this in person, you know that I am a nice guy until I need to not be a nice guy. And then I am the most incredibly violent person you'll ever meet. I'm very defensive of my friends and family. Um, I have no problem going directly to aggression if I have to. I, my fight, flight, or freeze instincts, I don't have the freeze one. <laughs> I really don't have the flight one unless I can say, okay, here, this is an intelligent resolve the situation. So I'm laying in bed next to the wife, and I have this dream, and I wake up. And above her, it looks like there is this thing, probably about, I would guess, I don't know, how, how big is that? How tall is that shelf, do you think, above my bed? About six, seven foot? The so one that's... next to the bed, the one off the side. It's pretty it's oh, up there. It's, yeah. I can barely look up on it. And I'm six six mm -hmm. foot, so. Something. Yeah, give or take. I mean, this thing's hunched over my wife. Whoa. And I looked at it in the dark because I had just woken up out of this nightmare. And I'm like, okay, I'm dreaming. And I kept looking at it, and it kept moving closer. And I kept looking at it, and it kept moving closer to the point where I finally said, fuck it. If it's real, I'm going to hit it. So. <laughs> I literally just threw a freaking left cross right over the wife into the thing. It moves back and then shrinks into this other thing that looked like my little brother, Jesse, who is much taller than I am. Little brother, I use vaguely. I don't have any brothers that are actually littler than me. I'm just softer and weaker and edgier. 
Except for Jesse, he's kind of just softer and meeker. But, <laughs> and taller. <laughs> My dick's bigger. Anyway, so, I punch this thing, it turns into like a Jesse-shaped figure, and it dissipates into nothing. The wife immediately goes, hey, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Because I woke her up doing this. And I'm like, did you see him? She's like, no. And I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, I went back to sleep because it was a, hmm. it was in in between the sleep awake, sleep sleep asleep thing, the hypnagogic hypno, hypnagogic hypnopompic stages, and my brain was just like wired already from that dream to be like, okay, protective mode. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we had a a babysitter that was freaked out because you know we had that clo- that second closet door in the hallway. Mm-hmm. And it would open randomly, and it would freak them the hell out. Hmm. And they're like, your house is haunted. Your house is haunted. Your house is haunted. Like, no, you guys are stepping, and it's opening the door. <laughs> it's popping the door open. Every time you step here, the door's going to pop open. I just need to fix a board. Oh, okay. There's, pop- there's situational like things that happen that usually have explanations. Yeah. But you still think my house is haunted. I mean, that's the only experience I've had in your house, so I don't know. Well, yeah. that, it could have just been a bad dream. Well, that said, I did have that one situation where I was laid up on the couch because I had a, a foot or leg problem, and I couldn't do anything. And I was laying there. I was off work, having a hard time. And I think it was uh, Tom Velasquez who noticed it. When I posted it, uh, the Paranormal Patriot guys, awesome dude. So I was sitting on the couch, and then, you know, that hallway light that we have, the two ones, they're two-way switches? Well, one of those lights didn't work for a long time, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, suddenly it just turned on while I was sitting there. Now, that said, I have noticed that when I'm sitting on the couch at night, or even in the daytime, now that I've been sick, I'm starting to see something by the bathroom. I'm trying to figure out what it is. It's got to be a trick of light. But it seems like there's something there. In my eyes, anyway. And my I am getting older. My eyes are failing. <laughs> so, not all of us here have to have nose piercings. Hey, I've seen some old people with nose piercings, so... I have, too. And... Yeah. And big ears and all kinds of stuff. Tattoos. I've seen dudes get their piercings ripped out. That's why I don't have any. <laughs> yeah. That would hurt. We did watch Strangeland. That was fun. That happened in that movie. The guy, he pulled his septum piercing out. Yeah, it was nasty. Yeah. That movie was great. Love that movie. It was gross. <laughs> Katie Cat Ka- thought she was ready for Strangeland. If you guys haven't seen that, it's a D. Snyder movie from back in the day. Phenomenal. Creepy. Don't watch it with your kids. Yeah, no. If you have light sensitivities, it's not for kids. It's not for <laughs> people with an easy gut. It's a very yeah. dark, dark movie. Better than the Human Centipede, though, and more creative, yeah. and probably more honest. You never seen the Human Centipede? No. Going to. Yes, you will. No, I yes, won't. You, will. you can't pay me to feed her. Watch that movie. <laughs> the movie's so disgusting. Maybe if you paid me like thousand bucks i'd watch it all right guys so <laughs> if we can raise a thousand bucks for vanishing gates katie cat will watch human centipede i will, watch it for I will live stream her reaction as she watches it you dug yourself a hole on this one you know that right i have to sit through a nasty movie while well. Just, I, I won't make you sit through a Serbian film. Anyway, so moving no. on. So horror stories and ghosts and shit. Mostly ghosts. Oh, I was telling you about that one weird... It's not a ghost story, but that weird thing that happened at Disneyland the other day with that shirt I was wearing. Oh, yeah. Talk about that, because we're gonna, yeah. we are going to do a Disneyland episode soon. Or a Disney episode yeah. soon. But Katie has... Been to Disneyland, which I've never been there. I've been there twice in my life. I've been there when I was, my dad took me when I was eight. And then I went again with a friend when I was like 15. 
The second time I went, I was wearing a tap shirt, which is if anybody has watched Ghost Hunters. Everyone here has watched Ghost Hunters. Yeah, you know what taps. <laughs> Anyway, oh, you just drooled. Oh my gosh! I think you had the crush on Zach Bagans, not the I other do. Guy. I do, Zach. If you're watching, <laughs> yeah, Zach, hit me up. We'll talk. Um, I'll give you her a number. But anyway, um, she's not loose. So <laughs> I started watching Ghost Hunters way before I was watching Ghost Adventures. So I was a fan of them. I didn't have a crush on any of them, but I was a fan. <laughs> Sorry, Grant. And I found I that crush on you. <laughs> and I found that shirt at Hot Topic, and I was like, "Okay, this is cool. I watch the show, you know. I'll get it." And I wore it to Disneyland. And me and my friend were getting <laughs> shut up. We're going to get in line on Space Mountain. <laughs> You're making me laugh, but I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're making me laugh. I'm gonna sit back so you can't see me. There you go. Tell the story. We were getting in line to go on space. <laughs> to go on Space Mountain. And <laughs> shut up. I'm trying. And, I didn't say anything. and the worker that was like is at the beginning of before you get in line, like to guide you through the thing, goes, We don't like them here. Or we don't like that here, or something like that. And she said it twice. Because I was, like, confused. I looked at her like, huh? She had been crossed on her necklace or something? I don't remember. I really don't remember. But she was like, we don't like that here. And I said, okay. And then just kept walking. But I always remembered that. And I always thought it was really weird. <laughs> no, that's hella fucking weird. Because yeah. why the fuck who cares? Because Disneyland um, employees are supposed to be, like strictly in character at the time. It was like Minnie Mouse? That would have been so much better. It was like a super Pentecostal Mickey under Mouse. The, talked under the costume. Oh my god, that'd be so cool if Minnie Mouse came up to you and said We don't like that here, We whore. don't like that here. <laughs> <laughs> you harlot! Burn her at the stake! <laughs> I can actually see that happening at Disneyland. But yeah, it was it was really strange. <laughs> I was so, very confused. You had a ghost hunting shirt that you didn't even go a ghost hunting shirt, for. Yeah. yeah. And the Disneyland employee was talking trash. Like was it a Sunday? <laughs> I don't know. She was like, 15. I was like, bitch, go back to church. <laughs> this is coming from a guy who used to be a minister. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's a little cray cray, as they say, say. No, but I've heard back about. Day day? But I've heard about the rules of... <laughs> well, we're going to do a Disney episode later. Yeah, I was just going to say, I've heard that there's very strict rules for Disney employees. That, I'll just say that. There are. Yeah, I've known yeah. people that Including have Including your there appearance, and... like you can't have earrings, you can't have painted nails, you can't have nose piercing, like you can't have anything. You ain't fitting in at all. No, I couldn't get a job there. I tried. <laughs> no, you got to be a hole in your face. Yeah. I'd have to take everything out, and I'm not doing that, so. <laughs> I'm not doing that for no job. I can do that for no job. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank God we live in California, where you can be whatever you want and work as much as you want, no matter what you do. You can be a doctor without a doctor's degree. You just have to fit the status. Anyway, are you seriously adjusting your breasts again while we're no, live streaming? I'm adjusting my sweater. This girl always does that, I swear. Anyway, you just saw it. It looked like it. It's in the light. I'm telling you. Look, we want an audience, but we don't need an audience that bad. Jeez. I know. We'd be on a different website. Yeah, we'd go to Chatterbait or something. <laughs> Anyhow, so, yeah. Uh, ghosts. What? I know you believe in ghosts, which... I do. Is or odd... spirits. Whatever you want to call it. Things. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Spirits. Ghosties. I have a big ghost right there behind you. He's hanging out, just chilling. Chilling like a villain. A very smiley villain. Who's made of ceramic. Because he's not a ghost. Because ghosts aren't real. I know I get a lot of shit for this because I'm a paranormal talk show host. And I've always been open about my idea that I don't think that human people haunt things. 
But we talked about haunted objects a little bit earlier when I was cooking dinner. So yeah. what are your thoughts on the haunted object? Um, so, I think plural. objects. I think that spirits can attach themselves to certain objects okay. um, that maybe they were attached to as like a, when they were alive. Well, you were a big Zach Bagans fan, so that would make sense. <laughs> Zach, come I'm on the gonna, show. She's trying to smash. I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> but, well, like, and he's a good example because he has the Haunted Museum, which is full, is a museum of haunted, I don't know if they're all haunted, but haunted objects. Well, I got that thing that creeps the shit out of everybody. Yeah, but it's not haunted. No shit, because ghosts aren't real. <laughs> and it's an art project that somebody made. It has to be. But, like, he has, like, Jeffrey Dahmer's glasses, which I don't think those are haunted because... Ooh, then prison issued. I don't think Jeffrey Dahmer's ghost haunts the glasses. <laughs> I don't think Jeffrey Dahmer's ghost haunts anything. I don't think he's anywhere it at all. <laughs> I think he's gone forever, but... Um, hey, he said he went to the Jesus, okay? That's all I know. Yeah, I'm not gonna get. I'm on not that. saying I'm not he even did. Gonna get on that topic. But... I'm not saying he did. I'm just saying that's what he said. Yeah. Not my place to judge, aside from the cannibalism and rapey homosexuality thing. I don't care about the gay part, but the rest of it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, he did some really, really horrible things. No, uh and Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't think did horrible things. I don't think he was ever saved. To say that. Well, I can't tell you. I can't judge another person's decisions yeah i can judge them in the moment i can't judge them over the long run i think it's, i know he had a very violent prison death yes he did <laughs> and i think it's good that he i think it was well deserved yeah it was and i think it's good that he wanted to like find jesus and all that and be better but, like what if they would have let him out of prison he would have just done it again probably most likely the probability is yes the yeah we can't say that for and a he fact. Literally we'll said never that. know. No, he said that. Well, that's why he didn't want to get out. Yeah, he's like, I don't want to be let out. I'll well, just do it again. <laughs> it's like we kept Charles Manson in prison until he died, and Charles Which Manson didn't like, actually kill anyone. No, he... He well, didn't physically actually kill anyone. He inspired people he, together he, to kill he people. He did. He inspired people to murder, but yeah, yeah. he didn't <laughs> actually kill anyone which is the crime itself that would be life in prison. But he kept turning down parole boards because he knew if he got out, yeah, he'd be totally screwed. Oh, yeah. He did that for his own good because he was a yeah. psychopath. Somebody, oh, yeah. For sure. Okay. He would have had to live. He would have had to live. In could, you imagine, could you imagine if he got out on good behavior and he was all like reformed and shit? You find out you're going out to the newspaper. They say the, the for sale sign on your house goes down because the guy was had tons of money even when he died because people just gave him money yeah. and fucking his son has it now I think and he just did <laughs> a newspaper and your new neighbor's got a big swastika on his head he's clean shaven but he's got a swastika yeah his hair is more kept a little longer just hi I'm Chuck how you <laughs> nice to meet you could you imagine having that moment what would you do Chuck. in the yeah Charles Chuck is short for did Charles did he go by Chuck no, but oh. he's reformed at this point. This okay. is a different universe alternative thing. Oh, We're playing a game here. Yeah. Can you imagine? That it, would be just, pretty crazy. <laughs> I'd be like, wait, you look familiar. Yeah, I've seen <laughs> How your do we know before. you? <laughs> <laughs> huh. It's like, there's something about you that just stands out that I just can't. It's not the swastika so much. It's. <laughs> It's the crazy eyes. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, uh, he's like, hey, do you want to, like, hang out and, like, we'll talk about music later? I'd be like, I feel like I don't want to hang out with you, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know a bunch of hippie dudes that want to do that shit. That, that was Charles Manson's big thing. That's why he went after, had his followers go after the house went after. Yeah. Most people don't realize that. Is, well, no, it's not that. He was a music guy. Oh, uh, yeah. The Manson family had a band, and they were making music, and one of the guys from the Beach Boys was going to, I don't remember which one, was going to produce their record. Yeah. And it ended up not working out. It pissed him off, and that guy was letting his house out 
And that's why they got murdered because he was renting it out to somebody else. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Another time. Another show. Yeah, another we time. should do an episode. But back to kills. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, oh, no, we've done tons. Yeah, I went through a phase. <laughs> went through a phase? I went through a phase where I was watching, like, stuff about serial killers and, like, documentaries. And I feel like you didn't go through a phase. YouTube videos. and. I think it's more like a fetish. I feel like everybody's gone through that, though, where they were, like, interested in that kind of stuff. I do all the time. Yeah, it just comes in waves, you know? It comes in waves. It's like grief. It comes in waves. Good like, God. Well, <laughs> when that documentary came out about um, the Night Stalker, that was like a big thing. And I watched that one. Oh, which one? Richard Ramirez. Yeah, well, there's that one. There's the Global Killer. The original Night Stalker. No, not that one. The other guy. Um, the Hispanic guy. <laughs> The Hispanic guy. <laughs> Pretty sure he was actually just Spanish. Spanish, whatever he was. he was. I don't think he was Mexican at all or anything. Yeah, I don't know what he was. I don't know. I have to look. But at he was really fucking gross and ugly. <laughs> he was a terrible person. And he was a terrible person. Yeah, he like obviously he wasn't nice. He did some really really horrible things. After I watched that documentary, I was like, no wonder people were so scared back then. Like, in Southern California at the time, everybody was, like, super scared. Well, yeah, he was jumping off the Golden State Killers, the original Night Stalkers yeah. thing. So, it was, like, kind of creepy. Uh, I used to do another podcast where we talked about this, but that got uh, taken by somebody else. Anyway, that was covered. But he was another <sighs> one that got to, like... Dahmer and Manson got like all the fan letters and shit. Mm. He got the same thing. Yeah, girls are creepy. Yeah, girls sending them nudes and letters and money and all this weird stuff. It's like, you... Nudes. nudes. I mean, honestly, like, to be honest with everyone here, full disclosure. Promise me you're going to tell me the truth. Okay. Okay, promise everyone here you're going to tell the truth. Promise. Okay, I promise. Is you want to gain trust and build our community up. Okay. <laughs> How many serial killers in prison have you sent nudes to? Zero. Intentionally, I mean. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is the kind of thing you would do. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why she's my co host. <laughs> yeah, no, I would never do that. So if you want to send your serial killer, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go into a fan erotica thing. I'm going to pop the brakes on that one for a little bit. Anyhow, back to ghosts. <laughs> yes, back to ghosts. That took you a hard second there. That, <laughs> to, to get back on track. You let your brain froze for a second. You're like, maybe. No, back to ghosts. Back to ghosts. You shouldn't have agreed with what I just said. Brain is soup. <laughs> Brain is soup. <laughs> but serial killers get you girl giggly. Oh. You like a pigeon. Oh. Ew, is that what? what they sound like? Pigeons? Oh. Is that what they sound like? Yes, yeah. No, it's a dove. Uh oh. Okay. That sounds like body wash? It's a wrong way. <laughs> this guy, he's so funny. Looks on everything. Anyway, Sparky, back <laughs> to the subject at hand. Ghosts. <laughs> ah, yeah, them things. Yeah, real. but um, other than that thing that happened at your house, I don't really think I've had really any experiences. Do you have any ghost stories from your childhood that people have told you that were like urban legends or like local lore that friends have said, hey... Katie, let me tell you about this. Yes. Okay, well, why didn't you, <laughs> why didn't you say that? <laughs> I forgot until you mentioned it. Well, there we go. See? Um, so, I grew up... Can I say where I grew up? On here? I think? Yeah. Okay. So, I grew up in the Bay Area on the coast. Um, Half Moon Bay, Moss Beach area, you know, Mavericks, all that. Famous for the surfers and... 
not talking about that? Famous for the surfers. I to yell. God damn it. I said talk louder. <laughs> and um, so we have this. Okay. The first story I have is we have this restaurant there called. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called now. I can't either. Dang it. Cinco oh, Center. Okay. That's what she's talking about. Though. That's not bad. Tell your story. Get a beer. <laughs> okay. um, well, one. there's a no. There's a restaurant um, there. I can't remember the name of that. Um, is known for being haunted, <laughs> and Ghost Hunters went there. <laughs> of course, he leaves me here alone. Um, Ghost Hunters went there. And um, did a show there, and it turns out that everything was faked, and they got really pissed off about it because they drove all the way down to the Bay Area for that. I don't know where they're from, but um, so yeah, they um, they went in and investigated, and it turned out everything was like set up and fake, and. Uh, they were really pissed about it. And I was kind of, I remember watching it and being kind of like let down and kind of embarrassed because it was like a place known where I grew up as being like super haunted and finding out that it was fake was kind of like, oh, it's a disappointment. But, um, <clears throat> and then also we had a, a lead, uh, what do you call it? An urban legend called the Blue Lady, where there was this um, there was this certain part of the highway down there that people would be driving down at a certain time of night, and they would see this like apparition of a blue lady, and she. I think it was the story was like she would ask for help, or she would act like she was lost or something. And people would try to help her, and then, you know, she would, like, end up disappearing out of nowhere. Um, they would, like, turn around, and she would be gone, and people would be, like, confused. Be like, well, what happened to this lady? I was just telling that story about the blue lady. Like, oh, that restaurant? Yeah. yeah. No, the oh. one on that it's a certain part I'm of the highway. Um, yeah, it was a certain part of the highway where this blue lady would show up while while people were driving and um she would like ask for help you know she'd be like oh i need help i'm lost and like people would try to help her and then she would just disappear like, there. at the gates yeah like vanishing gates yeah. so yeah that was like an urban legend of growing up where i grew up I never saw it, obviously. I never experienced it. It was kind of an interesting story. You never had friends that said, hey, my house is haunted. I always had a friend that did that shit. Like, no. We played with the Ouija board. Now I'm haunted. Shit happened all the time when I was a kid. That's why I have no fucking <laughs> worry about the Ouija board. We, Guys, yeah, if you watch the show for a while, we've been on the air for almost seven years. I, I know we've been off for a year and a half or so. Just due to a bunch of shit, but uh, we've literally done a live Ouija board thing here. And guess what? Uh, aside from me needing a haircut, it's not real. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care about your come to Jesus moments. The Ouija board's not real. I mean, it's real. It's just not, not a thing that actually does anything. Ghosts, though. Also, are not real. <laughs> but, gee, how can you be a paranormal talk show host and not believe in any of this? Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm a negative person, I guess. I, I have no idea. You tell me. So, what do you think ghosts might be if they're not human spirits? 
Um, maybe angels or guardian angels or some kind of entity. Okay. Demons. I think demons are real. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I can, I can actually, I can yeah. verify that one without a question. And I think demons uh, pretend like they're something else. Oh yeah, a lot Frequently. of the time. Yeah. The, yeah. They'll absolutely. pretend like that there's a person. Something or, nice. There's something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they're not. <laughs> so. Well, like if you look at the term Satan, it actually means deceiver. And Satan wasn't actually, I don't think, the name, I have to go back and read, I have read, guys, I know, don't give me crap. I went to Bible college, I know I've done exorcisms, but I haven't read my Bible in a long time. Sorry, Lord, you're in my heart. I heart you, Jesus. But uh, it's like, I don't spend that much time on, like, studying demoniac stuff anymore. Like, I just don't. Um, I don't spend that much time on quote spiritual warfare stuff the church i was involved in when i was preaching was very deeply involved in the, the spiritual warfare movement and it was detrimental to everyone involved no one came out of that well because the mindset was so off afterwards like you had people and it was always people that were super involved that were like not the normal folks in society. And I'm not going to talk trash about the pastor or his family of this church because I love those folks still to this day. But it wasn't done correctly, I feel like. I, I don't, I, I watch these shows where people go to haunted, haunted houses and stuff, or they go to hauntings and try to like cleanse and exercise. It's like, why? Why do you guys do that? Why Why do you have to do all this crap? Why do you got to rub the sage around and shit and do all that bullshit? Why do you got to find the demon's name? Why do you have to draw this stupid shit everywhere? You don't have to do that. It, it, it's If you believe in demons, you believe in God. If you believe in God, you believe in the Bible. The Bible's pretty f- freaking clear about how to deal with these things it's not difficult the only time it's ever mentioned that someone asks a demonic thing's name is jesus talking to a guy and legions there and he only did it to prove a point and that was it beyond that there's no reason for you to want to know what the hell the demon's name is there's actually in the New Testament after that even there are there's an account at least one that I can remember off the top of my head where priests and Christians new ones anyway try to exercise a demon and they get thrashed and tossed and beat the shit out of and the demon's response is well Paul I know Christ I know who are you and he just beats the hell out of all of them You know, it's like, okay, look, if you're not in touch with God, don't try to exercise demons. If you're trying to rid your house of something terrible, don't call a fucking psychic. If there's psychics out there who want to argue with me, feel free to contact me and we can have this debate. Or I I won't have a debate, I'll just let you talk. I'll let you have your spot to tell me about this. But as a person who is physically seeing exorcisms done. I don't want to say I did this, but I was involved because I was a minister. I had nothing to do with it. It had nothing to do with me. It was the power of God, not me at all. But it had to be the person that was Kemp Down's desire to be free of their situation. And that's it. That's it. There's no power in me outside of God when it comes to that. I can't control a demonic possession or entity. Doesn't mean I won't try to punch it in the fucking face. Like the other night with that thing in my house. Yeah. I, I was just going to punch. That wasn't even a thing. That was just me having pareidolia. Yeah, I've had that. Slipping in and out. I've had that. I think I see shit all the time. It's not right there. It's, most, it's usually spiders because I have a big fear of spiders. And I always that always happens. You are really not going to like a Christmas present. 
I got you a tarantula. Well, you can return it. His name is Fuzzy. Return it. He's defanged. He's a nice, sweet little guy. He's going to crawl around your head. You're great. No, I didn't get you a tarantula. That'd be terrible. Why would I get you a tarantula? You don't buy pets as gifts. It's no, weird. Especially <laughs> somebody that doesn't look like so weird. I know, right? You'd be like, look up! <laughs> <laughs> I would squish that thing. I'd let it go. A tarantula? I'd give it back. I'd be like, I don't want it. It wouldn't have its fangs. You have to feed it on its own. They're yes. not poisonous. Well, they are, but not enough to hurt you. Tarantulas are actually kind of docile. Did you know that? They're like kind of chill. Don't. It's a pet. Let's watch Arachnophobia after no. this. <laughs> you like the movie It, but you don't want to watch Arachnophobia? Oh, God. Spiders? It's about a giant spider that is a pedophile. Well, eventually he did not be a pedophile. <laughs> Pretty much. He eats kids. He doesn't eat them. <laughs> eats their innocence. No, he literally eats them. Have you, have you, read, have you, have you read the book? <laughs> have you read the book? Have you read the book, Katie? No. I, well, I've read some of it. They defeat him by losing their innocence. That's the whole point oh, in the yeah, first half. They defeat him by bullying him to death. Yeah, that's the yeah. end. In the first part, they don't beat him that way. Well, yeah. I've seen the movies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I'm going to say something that I'm not going to say it. I can make a joke. I'll say it off air. I'm not recording this part because that is a really inappropriate joke. You use my humor, but I don't want to get canceled. Okay. Anyway. I mean, not that I care. I'm not going to get canceled. Who's laughing? Anyway, guys. Anyway, back to, back to ghosts. Talking about. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'll wake up and I think I see a spider crawling like across my bed or something. And it's not really there. That's louder. From your diaphragm. Sometimes I'll wake up go. and think I have a spider crawling somewhere, and I don't actually. <laughs> I said diaphragm. I didn't mean that. <laughs> You're not so, going to get that reference. Anyway. <laughs> At least I don't sleepwalk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's out of luck. Because I used to do that. I don't do that anymore. Good. Glad. Yeah. That's that's a, that's a plus. Don't take Ambien. Oh, is the video loading? It's always loading. Oh. It's, it's, it's just I love the load sign. Yeah. <clears throat> Comment. <laughs> Freezing. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Ghosts. Remember watch the movie Ghosts with Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore? Yes. <laughs> I've seen that a few times. Is that not your favorite movie of all time? Um it's not one of it's not my favorite, but You really liked it, don't you? I liked it, yeah. I thought it was a good movie. This girl's got a paranormal fetish I'm telling you guys right now. You Patrick need Swayze. Your, uh, he was also like four and a half feet tall. Was he? I have no idea how oh. tall Patrick Swayze was. I know he was like a black belt in either Shotokan or Kyoshin Karate. And he knew how to dance really well. And he had really good hair. He did. Bring it out. I'm doing it. I'm doing the Swayze. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that's got awkward. What? I this just isn't that kind of This isn't the kind of show. Jesus, <laughs> Katie Cat. I just laughed. You giggle, snorted, and slurped all at once. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Shut up. Calm your ovaries. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, anyway. This has been Vanishing Kate's. <laughs> He's got to make everything weird. It's kind of part of the show. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, but you got to make everything awkward. <laughs> this is stand-up comedy in me. <laughs> stupid dance. Do a stupid dance. Let's do a stupid dance, guys. Ready? I didn't think you'd actually do it. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> The Ghost of Stupid Dancing continues. Guys, this has been Vanishing Gates. If you have stories of ghosts, the unexplained, the paranormal, 
anything you want to share with us? Anything at all. <laughs> just, yeah, no, I love it. Email <laughs> us at vanishinggates at gmail.com. And we will absolutely look at it. We'll probably read it because we have very little to do with our time. <laughs> I am currently... Uh, we have no lives. Yeah, I am currently semi-unemployed. So, again, because of my health. I have plenty of time to look at this stuff and try to make better content. This is the first real episode that's not a real episode for a while. Katie Cat's going to be doing some art for the show and some intro stuff. Or she says... Yeah. We'll see. Feel free to hound <laughs> that. Uh, where can they follow you and your art? Um, well, I have an Instagram that I have not posted on for a while. But, but you're getting it back up, you said? Yes. And it is? Uh, the name's kind of embarrassing. No, go for it. Don't be embarrassed. No, nobody's going to get the reference. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it is... Uncle Murdy's It's a gorilla's reference if any Everyone's gonna get the reference. If I anybody know. knows the gorillas. But yeah, so that's my Uncle art. Uncle Murdy's. Uncle Murdy's. Yeah. That's my art Instagram. I'm try and start posting in there again. So speak louder. Stop being embarrassed. I'm gonna try and start posting on there again. <laughs> You're hosting a talk show now. We don't have the mics in our faces. Gotta be more Well we need to you Expect. Yeah, but I don't have the stands up and I don't have anything set up to so make other computers down. And if you guys want to help us get our computer back set up, uh, let me know and I can tell you how to donate to <laughs> Jay's Get My Computer Fixed Fund <laughs> so we can have this stuff running appropriately and correctly. Uh, Jack will be back. He's not quite sure when. Um, where else can they follow you at? Do you want to do your... Uh, only fans or anything like that? Like <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Nothing else you can follow me on. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. As always, <laughs> I'm your ridiculously stupid ginger ghost, Jay. And this is... Katie Cat. And we love you guys. Uh, hit us up with those emails, though. Tell us about your paranormal experiences. All those things. True crime. Any topic you want us to cover, <laughs> hit us up and we will get back to you. For sure. I'll at least email you back. But uh, if you have a good topic, we'll probably just talk about it on the show. I mean, I just, yeah, I need ideas. Us, I got plenty of ideas. But I'm always down for viewer ideas, listener ideas. And so is the Katie Cat here. If you want to see more art from Katie Cat, also mention it. Uh, if you want to see more of Katie Can in just body paint, definitely like, subscribe, and follow, and tell your friends, because that'd be great. Uh, you can follow me also on my gaming channel, Mujuice Magic Gaming, on Facebook, and on Twitch, Mujuice Magic, and on... What's, uh, what's the other thing? Oh, the TikTok thing. Also, yeah. Mujuice Magic. Yeah. Hit me up. We'll talk. And also on Instagram, I think it Mooju's Magic. Yeah. Kind of like I, like no one wanted to steal that name from me or something. Like it wasn't like a hot commodity. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, I've been Mooju's Magic since the days of Counter Strike or Team Fortress Classic. So I don't want to hear it. All right, guys. We love you. Oh, there's a comment. Marciano. What's up, Rocky? Magic, huh? Yeah, Mujuice Magic, not your with weird. A K. Uh, yeah, with a K. M A J I K. Pretty easy to find, Marciano. Uh, he's a magician. You have to give him a break. Marciano, wow. folks, is in chat. He is a professional illusionist. <laughs> and he and I have been friends. He's actually my oldest friend since I moved here. Just got off work. Oh, nice. I'm well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Did you consider not going in today? Or <laughs> hey, did you get your car fixed out? We'll we'll talk about it later, Marcia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry guys. All right. We'll catch you guys later. We love you. Again, this is Jay and this is 
Katie Cat. We'll be back next Saturday, 8 o'clock. And uh, Katie Cat will only be wearing either tassels or body paint. Whatever sells. Yeah. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Catch you later. We love you. Bye. Uh, good night and good nightmares. <laughs>